finally what we've all been waiting for in chapter 7, the last section here, 7.6, solving radical equations. The pinnacle of what we've been doing, um, figuring what we can do with these um, rational um, exponents and all of these radicals. Now we can actually solve some honest to God equations using this stuff. So example one, um, to solve this equation for x, let's start here uh, very simply. Um, we have to get x by itself. So the first way that we can possibly get x by itself is by adding 4 to both sides. So let's add 4 to both sides. So when I do that, I get the cube root of x equals 4. Alright, no problem. Um, to get the cube root all by itself, or to get x all by itself, I need to get rid of that cube root. And the cube root, if you remember, it's like saying we have x to the one-third power. I'm trying to figure out some way that I can get that exponent to be a 1. So how in the world can I make that exponent a 1 while also getting x by itself? Well, it's actually much simpler than you think. All I need to do to both sides is multiply by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3 over 1. Or think about it like this. The square root and a square go together. The cube root and cube go together. So the fourth root and the fourth power. The fifth root and the fifth power, right? Think of them as opposites of each other. So since this is the cube root, I'm going to cube both sides. So 4 cubed is 64. So your answer for x is 64. Example 2. Um, I can't do anything with this problem until I get, get the x all by itself. So I need to get rid of that 2. And since this is 2 times x, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And when I do that, I get x to the 3 halves equals 250 over 2. So when I divide them, I end up getting 125 on this side, and I have x to the 3 halves. Well, with the other problem, that was actually kind of simple, right? The 1 third idea, well, if it's a cube root, we take it to the third power. This is where the idea of the reciprocal that I also talked about is for the best. This is to the 3 halves. So in order to make this a 1 as the exponent, what I need to do is I need to multiply by the reciprocal to both sides. I need to take it to the reciprocal power. So since this is a 3 over 2, I can take this both sides to the 2 over 3 power. And if I take it to the 2 over 3 power, 3 over 2 times 2 over 3, that gives me a 1. And basically what you can do is on your calculator, you can do um, 125 caret sign, parentheses, 2 divided by 3, and you'll get 25 as your answer. Or what you can do is you can rewrite this. And what we can do is I can rewrite this as 125 to the um, 1 third squared. And the reason why I would do that is maybe in your head you can remember that 125 to the third or the cube root of 125 is 5. So really what we end up with is 5 squared, and 5 squared is 25. Now once again, you can still get 25 by typing that in on a calculator, but if you couldn't remember that, the point is um, you could still get the answer um, by doing it in your head as well. Uh, with example 3, uh, what we're going to do here is I need to get x all by itself, so let's get rid of this number that's hanging out here all by itself first. So since it's plus 2, I will subtract 2 on both sides. And by doing that, I have the square root of 4x minus 7 equals 3. Since this is the square root, the opposite of a square root is a square. Or you can think about it as it's all to the 1 half power. So what can I do to both sides? What's the reciprocal of 1 half? Well, that's squaring. So I take everything to uh, the squared power, right? So I end up with uh, 4x minus 7 equals 9. I add 7 to both sides because I'm trying to get x all by itself. So I end up with 4x equals 16. I divide both sides by 4, and I get x equals 4 as my answer. When we come back here, um, I will finish off um, 7.6. Um, this problem may take a little while uh, longer than I wanted to, so I don't want to get trapped in the middle of it and be um, forced into uh, finishing this up quick. But um, not too difficult of a problem, but when we come back, we'll finish up 7.6, solving radical equations. And until next we speak, have a wonderful day.